Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install Football Manager 26 game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to run Gaming Services Repair Tool. Now for this, click on your profile icon on Xbox app, go to Support, click on Gaming Services Repair Tool, click on Start Repairing, click on Yes to Allow, and let the process complete. This process will take some time. And once it is complete, uh, you can close this and then try to install the game once again. So once done, now you can try to install the game once again. Now still not working. The next step is to log out and log in with same account on store and Xbox app. So at the top right on store, you will see your profile icon. Click on it, sign out, then click on sign in. Select the account which has the game or which has the game pass. Make sure that you select the right account over here. And then enter your PIN or password. Now go to Xbox app, click on your profile icon and then click on sign out and then sign in. And they have to select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store. Log in with same account. And once logged in, now you can try to install the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right, here you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, you can turn it on. Also, set time automatically if this is off turn it on and then click on sync now sync now is important and once sync is done go to time and language go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then try to install still not working go to microsoft store library downloads and try installing from there now go to store at the bottom left you will see download option over here if you see the game you can try to install the game from here you can try to install you can find the game and try to install the game from microsoft store and then check you can go to downloads and then check you can even go to library and then if you see the game in library you can try to install the game from the library and then check i have the game on in downloads now still not working like if you're using store to download in that case you can use xbox app to download still not working the next step is to run this power cell command this command is provided in the video description copy this command Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. This will install the Windows default apps. Now during this process, you will see errors like this in red color. Just ignore it. Let the process complete. Once this is complete, you will see everything red. Once you see everything red, once it is done, you can close this relaunch Xbox app and then try to install the game once again. Still not working. Delete Microsoft Store local cache folder. Now for this, you can open File Explorer. Go to this PC, open C Drive, Users folder, Your Username folder, open App Data folder. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, Select Show, put a check on Hidden Items and then open App Data folder, Local folder, open the Packages folder and then scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store folder. So here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder. Here you can see local cache folder. Make a right click. Click on delete. Once deleted, now you can try to install the game. Next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box. Click on it. This will relaunch store and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to repair or reset Xbox app in store. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app, go to app settings. Now scroll down over here, click on terminate first and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, you can launch Xbox app again and then check if that does not work. Click on reset, reset. And once the reset is done, you can open Xbox app once again and then check. Still not working. Do the same thing with Microsoft Store. Make a right click on Microsoft Store app settings again scroll down click on terminate and then click on repair and once the repair is done now you can check still not working you can perform reset reset 
and after the reset you can open store and then you can check still not working update store now for this you can open microsoft store on computer now once store is open go to downloads and then click on check for update and if you see update all click on update all update everything and then you can check still not working the next step is to install xbox identity provider now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website click on view in store open microsoft store if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button or get option or maybe update option do it in my case it is already installed and then you can try to install the game still not working uninstall and reinstall gaming services to uninstall gaming services copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell make sure that you run powershell as an administrator only click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer and once done copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description paste it on the same window hit the enter key this will open store click on get option if you see install option hit install click on yes to allow and let the download complete once gaming services is installed you have to relaunch xbox app so once this is installed you have to let me install it once again now once installed now you can launch xbox app once again and then you can check still not working the next step is to start these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find xbox services at the bottom here you can see xbox services make a double click on each xbox services one by one and then set start type to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and click on ok again set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok automatic apply start ok find windows update make a double click on windows update automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find gaming services make sure gaming services are running so make a right click on gaming services and then click on start if highlighted or click on restart again make a right click on the second gaming services and then make a right click on make a right click on start or restart now you can check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update and security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart again there and after the system restart you can launch the game still not working the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on it and then go to advanced tab scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked and then hit apply apply is important and then click on okay and then check still not working try installing the game to c drive or different drive so you can go to xbox app and then click on your profile icon and then go to settings go to install option now you can try to install the game to c drive if you're trying if you were trying to install the game to d drive or e drive you can select c drive and then check if you are facing the problem when installing the game to c drive if you have any other drive you can select any other drive over here and then try to install the game now still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall xbox app in store so type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app then click on uninstall uninstall and once the uninstall is complete uh, you can open microsoft store you can search for xbox app and then you can go to xbox app and then you can install xbox app from here and then check if you face any difficulties in installing xbox app from microsoft store in that case you can go to xbox website go to the xbox go to the official microsoft website download the app and then you can run this exe file
and you can install it. You will see install button, hit install after the install installation. You can try to install the game and then check. Do the same thing with store. You can uninstall store for this, copy this command, type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make directly from Windows PowerShell. Make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will uninstall store from, from your computer. Store will be gone. And once it is gone, now copy the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. Copy it and then paste it into the same window, hit the enter key. This will reinstall Microsoft Store and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows using media creation tool. So you can uh, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here, scroll down here, you can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. When you run this exe file, uh, you will see the screen click on accept over here. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop. Save. Let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once the download is complete, you will see finish option. Hit finish. And then let this close automatically. It will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close. Now go to desktop. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. And then you can make a double click on setup file. Run the setup file. Click on yes to allow. And then click on next. Click on accept. Here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So hit install. After the installation, log into the computer and then you can open Xbox app or Microsoft Store and then try to install the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this game successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.